oh my god it's not even early in the morning I'm kidding good morning everyone I hope everyone is doing well in today's video I'm gonna film a what I eat in a day because it's been a hot minute since I've done my last one I mean I said I'd do these monthly so it's been just over a month I think since my last one so a few things to say before we properly get into the video firstly my appetite has significantly decreased since the beginning of quarantine I mentioned this in my previous what I eat in a days so I'm just kind of trying to make sure I eat enough second thing is obviously I don't eat the same every single day like at all so this is just what I'm gonna eat today Today. I don't know what I'm gonna eat today. We will see. The third and final thing I want to say is that obviously this is how I eat. This is not how you should eat, nor am I saying anyone should eat how I eat because even if you ate like me, it wouldn't you do you know what I mean? <laughs> As you can see, it's 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 the morning. I've already had a coffee this morning. It's actually 10 to 11 now, and I'm gonna go have breakfast. So I think that's all of my disclaimers and everything. So I'm sorry that was a really long intro, but I just wanted to make that said early on in the video so that you are watching it for the right reasons and you are, you know, here for a good time. So let's get into the breakfast. Of course, my mum starts lawn mowing. Lawn mowing? As soon as I come down to make breakfast, but it is what it is. <laughs> right. So for breakfast, I am gonna have toast. So if you've watched any of my what I eat in the days, you'll know that I it's pretty standard for me to have toast. I'm pretty gutted that it's the end piece because that's not it's not it for me. I know some people like the end piece and I will still eat the end piece, no waste here, but also this is a really like dingy ass day, so I apologize if the lighting's a bit weird. I've also got a coffee again. Um, trying to only have two coffees a day, so we've actually switch, switch. We've got decaf now. This is still caffeinated, but I have two in the morning and then we go straight to decaf because I like the taste of caffeinate, no, of coffee. Um, and I've also got oat milk in it because I bought myself some oat milk the other day for another video. And it's just the best milk in coffee. Don't challenge me. I'm actually really excited about my breakfast today because I'm having avocado and I think this is this is so basic. Thing is, this, this is a huge avocado, right? This is a massive avocado. I always find that the stones in these huge avocados are equally as big. So it's like, wow, this is such false advertising. See what I mean? I reckon we'd probably fare better by just getting a smaller avocado because the stones are much smaller and you'd save yourself like 50p. Like the way I do my avocado on toast is kind of elite. I must, I'm in a really weird mood. I don't know if you can tell. I spent like the entire morning thinking like, what am I gonna film? Oh no, that was way too premature. I spent the entire morning like, what am I gonna film? What am I gonna film? And then it gets to like 11 and I'm like, well, ah! what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, the way I do my avocado on toast is elite. Yeah, so I do agree with myself. So what I do is I smash up the avocado. I think this is such a standard way of doing avocado. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm superior. Smash up the avocado, add some salt and pepper, add some garlic, add some tomato, add some lemon. It's elite here, bigger than God's tier. So far, I've only got half an avocado in there, but I'm looking, it doesn't look enough. So what I'm gonna do is <coughs> inhale some pepper. But what I'm also gonna do <coughs> is I'm gonna put the whole avocado in and then the bread, like the leftovers in the fridge. Here she is. Toast is done. And now I'm gonna add my work to the top. I want a nice big amount, you know, because it is late in the day already. And because my appetite's really small at the moment, I'm trying to like whack on a lot with like the meals I do have. Obviously, if you're having avocado on toast, you have to have olive oil on top of it. And I know people in all my previous videos when I've had avocado with guac, no, I've had, I've, I've, I've had avocado with olive oil. People have gone. Ew, I don't know what are you doing? Why are you adding olive oil to your meals? Well, I'm telling you right now, olive oil pops off. You just gotta get in there, you know. Gotta get in there with the avocado. Ah, oh. you know what we need, guys? We need a little moment. Check her out. I didn't mean to make it that strong. I made my mother a coffee. She thinks it's too strong. It is one of these. Right. So anyway, this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Got my avocado. Like that is so perfect. I'm sorry, but yum. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to take my supplementes. This is vitamin K2, D3, and omega 3s that I take. Vitamin D is really, it's D3, so it's vegan. It's really important to take, particularly in England, particularly between I think it's about October to like February or March time and obviously it's not those times but I take it anyway. It tastes disgusting because this one has omega 3s in it. And then I'm also gonna have a vitamin D. Similarly, even if you're not vegan or vegetarian, they're quite good to take, but particularly if you are vegan or vegetarian because vitamin B12 comes from animal sources. So, done. Right, anyway, so I'm gonna go have this. 
I'm so gross. I want eight in a day. I'm so chaotic. Some people's vegan want eight in a day is so aesthetic and so like. <laughs> and then there's me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sat here, nor do I know why I'm still not doing anything with my day. But it's about 10 past 12. Actually, it's like 20 past 12. I'm sat on my floor. I haven't long finished, well, actually, that's such a lie. I have finished lunch quite a while, breakfast quite a while ago. Um, but I've just been dancing around, you know, having a good time. Anyway, so I went down to the kitchen to get something and I came back up with an apple. So just thought I'd let you know. It's quite a good, a good sized apple, you know, like a good pink lady apple. I love them. <coughs> quite often. <laughs> I'll go into the kitchen to get something and come back with either a snack or a drink. So, hello. Oh my goodness. What? Jesus. I want to walk, right? It's like half one ish. I'm having a top one. There's this like crossroads we meet here and they never know which way to go. We're going to go left. Testing. This way. Good boy. And I get really excited because we're going the longer way. <laughs> anyway, so I've come on a walk with my dogs. I need to clear my head. If you follow me on Instagram, I did just put up a story, a little bit of a little bit of a rambly one, so I do apologize. But I posted a story on my Instagram, just a little bit about how I've been feeling today. So I've spoken about this many times on my Instagram, and there's a plane going over just as I'm speaking. Great. <laughs> just about sort of like my anxiety in general because to be honest I'm having a little bit of a anxiety day. If you've seen me speak about this before you'll know that my anxiety has got so much better than it used to be. The first like two years of uni in particular my anxiety was rife. Went to see someone about it and blah 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 and we got a little bit better. Now it's definitely so much better than it used to be but some days I do get more significant anxiety than others and of course the day that I film has to hit me then so who knows whether or not this video will actually make it to the public eye. I say the public eye like <laughs> come on when it comes to like creating content on like Instagram and YouTube and stuff I'm very aware of well other people which is beneficial I do think it is good to be self-aware and to be aware of the content you're putting out there and, and thinking like okay am I like harming anyone doing this but I also think it can become a bit self-destructive when it is as over enhanced as it should be like it's definitely 100% beneficial to be aware of what you're posting and check with yourself and acknowledging any errors in in judgment you've made before but also there is an element of self-destruction when you're thinking about it with every single thing you do to the extent to which like people haven't even said things but you're thinking about the things that haven't been said does that make sense i'm not even sure if it makes any sense but i've come on a walk to sort of just clear my head a little bit and i just wanted to be honest with that really because i i am such a positive person and i think i sort of use my past to drive me and my positivity more but it doesn't mean that some days aren't still like a bit crap and i want to be honest with you about that because i do think think i do think it can be a little bit kind of ironic because this is the whole anxiety thing but i do think like if i was to just show all of the times in which i'm really positive everyone would have this really positive outlook on me which is what i want and i want you to think that but i wouldn't be being true to me or true to you if i didn't show you the days where i was like a little bit oh so that's where i'm at today i actually do feel a little bit better now i honestly think voicing it has made it so much better i know a lot of it is irrational that is just what my brain does sometimes and i know it is a very common thing um, hopefully with this walk and with this chocolate bar which i've still got in my pocket i will feel a little bit better when i go back and i'll have some lunch okay I um, bought these a few videos ago and I never used them and so I hadn't opened them and I was keeping that up I need to put it out there that my parents don't buy food like this when I buy it I like <laughs> I buy it for me mainly and I hadn't opened this <laughs> and I came downstairs and I saw that it had been opened and so I moved it and so now um, she knows where they are girl Sharon is Karen that was a bit of a I don't know, moment I'm feeling a bit better by the way I'm feeling Feeling much better now. Boy, hummus is always the answer. Yesterday for lunch, I had a salad with these chicken type pieces and I did that annoying thing. You know when you, you have like two portions but then you fancy more than the portion. So you have like a portion and a half. I've left like three quarters of a portion at best. So for like whatever we're gonna call this type of day food, I'm gonna have like a little salad thing. I've got Saddle leaves, which I've spoken about in the past, not being my favourite thing ever. But, alas, can't be bothered to go get the lettuce we've got growing. I'm just going to cook up the chicken. I'm going to have some hummus, some pickle, because they're like my favourite things ever right now. 
and some tomatoes. Literally about it. So this is a bit boring because it's just gonna take a while to do frost. So I'll just show you the finished product. Well, you know everything's gonna be a breeze. There will no doubt just by the means. We can fix any problem with the slightest of ease. Yes, please. But Voila! So here is the finished product. It literally looks so boring. I know, and I could have had something else with it. Like we have these really amazing like little bites, which I've had in a previous video. But to be completely honest with you, I'm feeling too lazy. This is gourmet. Put some peppers and tomatoes in there, you know, to spice it up a little bit. I am gonna have another something and I'm having one of these little Alpro yogurts, which by the way, pop off. These are just the strawberry ones and they're so good. I'm just sat here attempting to do some editing. It's now 5 p.m. and I'm gonna have this yogurt and then I'm gonna have a shower. You'll all be happy to know. <laughs> That's it, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that I'm having this. I'm not gonna lie, I went through a little bit of a headache dip, probably because of all the anxiety emotion that we've been feeling today. And now we're back and we're gonna make some dinner. So for dinner, I'm gonna have kind of like a staple. If you've seen other of my what I eat days, you will have seen me have this many a time before. But I'm gonna have a stir fry type thing. I've already got my noodles cooking here. And then I've also got some peppers, some sliced greens and some Linda McCartney hoisin duck. So I'm gonna make this, cook this all up, add it together, add, oh my god, add some teriyaki sauce, add some hoisin sauce, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so that literally took me no time at all, but here is my dinner. The noodles are literally buried under a lot of sliced greens. I've actually never tried this teriyaki sauce before, so this is the first time for me as well. There it goes a bit better. You can see all the layers. I also, oh, you can't see anymore, but I also added some cashews to the top because I quite like like peanuts or cashews on stir fry. Mm. That is very good. That is very good indeed. That very much hits the spot. Mm. Those Dinda McCartney poison duck things are so good. Just adding a little bit more soy sauce because we love the salt. Quarter to seven, by the way, so that's pretty good innings for me because considering I start like I had lunch at half three, quite good for me. Pretty good. God, it's very bright up here now, isn't it? It's very bright indeed. Hello, it's now about 9.30 and I felt like I needed a little bit of sun sun. I have some milk because I'm really getting into the habit of having milk before I go to bed. It's soy milk with ice in it, I like it. Really cold. And then I've also got some peanut butter and jam because I saw it appear on my Instagram and it made me want it. And then I realized I hadn't had any today. New. Yeah. Mm. I think I'll probably end the video here. As I said at the beginning, this is obviously just a snippet of what I eat in general. This is not me saying that you should eat like this. This is not even me saying that I eat like this all the time. This is just one day and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I appreciate this has been literally all over the all over the shop today. We've just been a little bit chaotic in my brain, but I am feeling better now. I think my anxiety is feeling much better as well. It doesn't make any grammatical sense, but I think a long night of sleep will probably help me as well. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. You thought, you thought, you thought I was gonna end the video without having any biscoff. <laughs> I'm laughing because this melted the other day, so normally biscoff is like, well, it's not like this. And I look, you can see at the end, and that's where it's like hardened after it's melted. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um. And I'll see you in the next one.